Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you a 2 vs 2 on Colomont Levant. I'm playing with Klingon Cannon and we're both using the 15th Infantry Scot. So we're playing against two, actually one 716th which is Captain Feeney and the 12th SS Panzer which is Cherry Bomb. So, looks like I'm taking the right, since this guy wants to take the left. There's not going to really be too much interplay, because I'm not on comms with this guy or anything. This is live. So i just got to try and work this out. I didn't expect to be playing a DVD, but the game just started. So we'll try and make this work. We're going to be spread pretty thin. Trying to work out what I want to do here. So let's grab some rifles, first of all. Pretty simple start. We'll get some rifle leaders to just drop into the back side of this tree line here. We'll bring in probably most of my six pounders, or maybe just a couple. We'll have one for the center and uh, one for the right side here. Maybe one for the forest here as well. Then I'm going to need probably Churchill's. Now Churchill's directly counter the 716th, but not the 12th SS. Because if the 12th SS brings in the Boy to Firefly, then they're going to be in trouble. So I'm only going to bring in one Churchill at the start. I'm going to need some recon, so that'll probably be the remainder of my points spent. And we'll need some infantry for the right side as well. So I'll bring in these rifles here. Need a ride. And they can sort of just hang out on this tree line. We need to get my recon up here as well. They can probably go as far as they can. And we may as well get recon for the center rather than the tree line here. So we'll bring them up and just have them unload as far up as possible. 35 points left. I really hope the guy on my left flank doesn't collapse. This is why I don't tend to play the games where there's just two people and one person I don't know. Because if this person... I've never played with them before, isn't that great, then it puts me in a bit of a predicament and I have to hold like an entire front line, which is not very fun. Just a, a lot of stress, especially if I'm trying to win, which, you know, generally I try to do. <laughs> the only times I don't try too hard is just like when somebody leaves at the start of a game or something and then you end up playing a game against like an AI. In which case, there's not much point in trying too hard because it just, it's just a waste of effort, really. I'm going to move up all these as far as I can so we get a decent start. And we should get to the front line before our opponents. I need to actually make sure this Churchill's going somewhere. Uh, let's bring him up on, well, in the center, actually. Let's bring him up in the center. I'm not entirely sure if this is the best idea. Let's have a look at where my teammates are going. Wow, he's putting a lot of forces on the far, far left. Okay. I'm a bit more spread with my troops. I think my first purchase is probably going to be a honey or the mortar carriers. I think I might need the mortar carriers, although I do have the Churchill, so it really depends who I'm up against. If I'm up against the 12th SS, it's fine. I'll just have to play defensively. If it, I'm up against the 716th, I can bring in like another Churchill and just be like hyper aggressive against the IG-18s and the packs. The tension is real right now. Who am I up against? We can give some fire support, sir. Let's make sure these guys go as far as they can before they unload. Let's unload this chap, get him into cover, get the MMG carrier out of the way. This is the 12th SS player in the center, cherry bombs on the left. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like I'm, against, I'm up against the 716th, which is fine. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. Let's unload that guy. I have the MMG carrier, get out of the way. And I'm going to have to have the six pounder come over here. Or the, not the six pounder, the Churchill. Great. 
So all of my command carriers and stuff, I'm going to move them over to the right side. Engine destroy? Really? Okay. We're going to have to just buy another one. I'm going to ignore the center. We're going to have to go to the right. Setting up, sir. That's where the pack 40 is. I've just got to ignore it. That's really, really unfortunate. Just get me out of here. But like I said, not too much I could have done. MG34 on the right side. We can basically overrun probably the infantry with all of these command carriers and stuff. So that's what I'm going to look to do. In the center we got the recon set up. We've got the recon here as well. Move them up and put them on return fire. Going to keep the rifles there. Might be able to push some rifles further up, but I'm actually going to bring them back into this forest just so that I have them defensively. And we'll save for another Churchill. I'm literally just going to spam Churchills at this point. There we go. We took out the Grand Theater. That's good. That means a lot of this stuff can surrender once we make it. Um, Once we make it full back, although we do need a recon squad on this side. Okay, so let's bring up some rifles around that side. And I feel like we might need a honey or something. Let's bring up a honey. Maybe even if it goes to the center, it would be a decent shout. Okay, that's six pounder. Okay, we need to pull it back so that he doesn't fire position it. In the L LFH there. Taxi ready. I have a bad feeling. Need a ride. Oh, here goes the Fusiliers. That's annoying. They took out the MG carrier, so we can give have to be careful. I'm going to move forward to the rifles. Kill off the MG, that would be really nice. Yep, and then we can kill off the uh, Fusiliers there. Churchill's nearly in position. Oh, actually, there's a lot of units here. I'm just going to maybe fast move up to here. Might be able to get in range of this Pack 37. I can take that out, and I can take out a lot of this artillery. That'd be amazing. Hopefully I took out those. No, I didn't. That's not good. Alright. Well, we're just losing... the carriers at the moment. That pack 37 is moving forwards, which isn't ideal. We'll move the honey to the right side, and I'll bring up another Churchill here. The, the main issue with the Churchill is that they just take so long to come up. What we might be able to do, though, I'll bring up the honey here. Right, that's a dead Grenfjord. Actually, you might be able to take out the IG-18 before it gets across the line of sight. That would be good. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. Let's have a look around here. We don't want the command carrier to get too close. At your orders, Captain. The honey can come and stop the Austrian. And uh, we're going to want the Pack 37 dealt with, so we're going to need to attack move to the left side. Oh, that's the Austrian getting wrecked there. Okay, they managed to get into range with that Pack 37. That's what he was doing. So we need some more infantry, I think, just to be able to, to keep pushing. We'll bring up a command unit for that right side. I want to be able to engage this uh, Pack 37 at 600 meter range, so we're going to move actually towards it and hopefully we can get the shot on. We're going to get a shot in first. Oh, bloody hell. 
been very lucky with that shot. That's annoying. Okay. Teammates doing alright on the left flank. We're holding 50-50. Bring the MMG carry around. Took out another unit of infantry there. This AT gun's been done quite a lot of work, which is quite nice. Gonna move it down before it gets taken out by the IG. And we're gonna move the Churchill out here. Hopefully I can get a shot onto his artillery. That'd be good. Be back with those rifles. He's going for cover there. RT it out, I'm not entirely Everybody sure what it means. Check your ammo. Enemy spotted. Be ready. Don't really. I can bring in my two inch mortars. Radio check. Got another Radio AT gun radio radio I need to worry about. We got a man down. We'll deploy in this position. Need a ride. Having a little bit of trouble here, but we should be okay. I reckon I can I can overcome this quite easily. I'm not sure why they got inside the carrier there. We'll unload all of this infantry. Take care of that. I swear if he kills my Churchill I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> right. He's got one shot. He should miss. Yeah, nice. Okay. So by in terms of chances of hitting... We won out there, which is nice. Ready, right, this means that we can keep pushing. We'll go for that windmill where the fusiliers are. Pick out the Grenfell all, all the way back there as well. Recon Let's get this recon ready. team forwards. And uh, we need to make sure that we take care of the AT gun in that tree line. I'm going to bring in my Tripolstons because it looks like they're going to be using... An air force of some sort. There we go. Discovered the pack 37. He hasn't smoked that off. That's very dead. Fantastic. Things are under control. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Continue to move up here. Be able to kill that pack 37. Yeah, we're making it really difficult for him. Move up the mortars. And we'll bring in another anti-tank gun. Fantastic. Oh, we need to move forward to 6-pounder. What's this? It is a B2. Okay. That's fine. Gonna make sure we get the 6-pounder on target there. He's gonna be baiting him over his bofers again. I'm liking how King Gon is working at the moment. Didn't want those guys to surrender though, so we're going to have to bring in some more rifles for this tree line. It's not good. Okay, so we're going to have to like mortar the hell out of this. Gonna keep moving forwards with these Churchills, I think. Gonna make sure I get line of sight onto the Black 88 he's bringing up there. Yeah, he's uh, brought up a Black 88 there. We're gonna fire short of that. Let's 
keep moving up with the six pounder. We don't actually want to let that get in line of sight. So this is something that I was talking about a little while back. Gotta like double team these black 88 sometimes. Hmm, not in this case. Give us a good firing position. That's good. Okay. All of our infantry is being wrecked here, which is fine. <laughs> as long as it gets into the tree line, I don't mind. The six pounder also didn't do too well. That's irritating. Yes. Right, let's move the mortar away and we'll move forward to this, this uh, infantry. And we're going to move back our Churchills because I need something to reveal them moving forwards. So we'll bring in our Churchill there. Actually, let's bring in the Command Churchill and we'll bring up some more recon because that's what we need to continue moving forwards here. I'm also going to need probably my 25 pounders yes, sir. the biggest counter the 716th is artillery looks like the flak 41's coming forwards again Wake up, boys. any infantry that tries to move forwards is just going to get wrecked we've just got to keep an eye on this flak 88 it's definitely coming for me we fire at it like 50 meters short, we should be okay. Yeah, I think he's going to lose the Spitfire there. That was a bit risky. And we're going to have to invest in some serious AA now. Bring in another Tripulston. And we'll make sure I'm moving up my rifle leader here so that we continue with the veterancy. Looking for enemy planes. Right, 25 pounds as it is. That's one in our favour currently. At the beginning it didn't go so well, but now we're okay. Let's make sure this Churchill joins my other Churchill here. Gonna be constantly bringing up the flak 88s, but <laughs> well, there goes one of them. How to dismantle the 716? Probably push forwards with this honey, honestly, on this right side. Get the command carrier to move up as well. May as well move across these two-inch carriers. Gonna have to be very careful with the line of sight here, and he might get something into here. Which would not be good. Okay, we got Nebelwerfer Werfer coming in. It's okay. Just need to make sure that they all fall back. Need to make sure this recon's ahead. That guy needs to fall back. And as he moves forwards, we set the other Churchill to fire. We'll start to pin him down. All right, let's unload this recon squad. We're going to move the MMG carriers over here. We need to make sure the rifles come up here as well. And we're going to grab in our anti-tank maybe, although we don't really need it at the moment. We need our other 25 pounder. Let's unload that and we'll fire away. I'll bring in my Bedford supply as well. Yes, sir. Okay, so we need to get rid of the flak KC-8 now that we are pinning it down. Looks like they brought in another flak KC-8 on the left side there. So it's just a matter of 
using my Churchills. They are using smoke quite effectively, which is nice to see. Annoying for me, but nothing I can do about that. We are nearly in range to use the mortars onto their Flak 88s, which would be good. Get these guys into cover, if we can. I'm going to bring in my off map as well, just because it's really good for like dealing with Flak 88s. Yes, yeah, let's start hitting this uh, Flak 88 there. Probably completely overrun these guys. I'll be very careful of the uh, the distance here. For example, now let's put back with these rifles here. And make sure these rifles are dealt with. Took care of that. Just reversing out of range. Okay. I need to get line of sight onto this Flak 88. It's not good. Right, let's move back the Flak 88 here. We'll move back the Churchill. This Churchill should get line of sight onto it. We need to unload the second 25 pounder and get that firing away. Alright, that Churchill took care of the Flak 88 there. Nice. If we can pin down this Flak 88 here, we, what we can do is quite simply just charge it with everything we got. There we go. No chance. Okay, that, <laughs> that mortar carrier doesn't want to go there. <laughs> it's a bad idea. <laughs> Here comes the Nebuverfer again. Make sure we kill that Black 88. That's what we need to kill. We need more infantry in the centre here. I guess we'll bring in Assault Pioneers. And we'll bring in another Command Infantry. Let's take out those... Black 36 is back there. These guys need to retreat out of that fire. These guys need to retreat as well. And currently there's a little hole forming on this side. Let's make sure we get some MGs for those buildings. And I'm also going to bring up... Probably a crocodile. I'm not entirely sure. We can get the mortars going here onto the IJ team though. And the uh, Black 88 which would be good. Um, if the... Rifles can get into that cover, that would be nice as well. Oh, we should be able to pin that down. Okay, well, I was going to say before it kills the honey, but apparently not. That's okay. Well, one more shot onto the Flak 88, and we've done our job. Nice. These mortar carriers definitely paid off. Glad I brought those up. And we still have one Churchill available. We still have the Churchill OP here. So what I'm going to do is bring that over to the right side. Uh, we'll move it up on that right side as well. Got to keep using these 25 pounders where we can. To hit units we want to get rid of. So it looks like he's trying to do like a rolling push here. Which is fine. Ready sir. But uh, he just needs to make sure that he controls it properly. Make sure I click the defense beacon there, because it looks like my teammates are very much occupied elsewhere at the moment. Get 
that. Alright, fantastic. 25 pounders are hitting the mark. Move forwards with the mortars there. Try and do some damage as well. Alright, so far so good. Bring up another command there. We need probably a 17 pounder just in case. Got enough AA. Let's make sure it moves forward though. We might bring up uh, one more just in case. And then we're going to require another Churchill 5, I think. Right, let's try and target their artillery now. Actually, we have a shot onto this pack 40. So maybe that's a good shout. Yeah, let's try and get rid of that. firing at. Okay, my rifles. This Churchill's nearly out of ammo. So now we can just roll forwards and actually physically engage the pack 40. We need to get the 25 pounders to shoot behind it just in case it decides to fall back. We can get into here at the Fusiliers. Where are these guys going? We'll go Need to bring them up like so. Ostrupen will be killed off. Gets rid of them. Bring the assault pioneers through, through here. Bring those rifles up. We need to move across the six pounder. Bring the command Stuart over. We'll move the rifles over as well. That's some Italian infantry, so a little bit stronger than normal. don't want them to side shot my Churchill so we're going to back away from that although I think it's a bit too late unless we can pin them down I think we're just out of range great not today We need to keep an eye on this other side here. We've got another flak 88 coming in. It's just mortar that boss trooping. And we're going to need ammo for that Churchill. It looks like we might be able to go all the way through this line. That would be quite hilarious. It means we could probably do it with the command Stuart here as well. Push through. That is the question. We don't have the range on that church. You'll to actually attack the Black 88 because we use up all the ammunition. It's very amusing. Well, if this three-star Stuart gets on target, we'll do a lot of damage. Hmm, okay, who made them all fall back? Time to run. Let's get my 25 pounds to take that flak 88 and my artillery. And hit all of this lot coming across the field. Unload these rifles and get them into that area here because we don't want to lose this tree line. Okay, looks like he's gonna get pinned down, so I might be able to just target him straight up. Well, maybe not. 
Get the Churchill 5 to do the job. Nice. Now we can actually chase them down. Rifles are coming in to kill off the Pioneers. Get the 17 pound into position. Hopefully that will kill off some of the carriers. Artillery has done a job on the right side. We need to just bring in loads of tanks, I think. We could probably break through. Bring up the honey. We'll bring up all of these rifles. I don't know if we have like increased income or something, but <laughs> I'm just not using all of my units at the moment. We'll bring in both of our priests. And that should help us break through. Get our last Stuart in as well. Yes, sir. Goodbye to those Grenfjellers. Stuart doing the job there. Mm, not sure if my church was going to win out on this one. Okay, thank God he was firing at the Stuart. That means we get the kill. Oh, and that's a free infantry kill there. Six pounders doing the job. And we've emptied out the Bedford supply, so I can't resupply my Churchill. <laughs> that's not good. I should probably have some more available if I don't. Get the Churchill OP to pull back. Make sure we uh, pin them down beforehand as well. Bring in some anti-air here. Force them to pull back. Okay, MD-34 is dead. That pack 40 is uh, in a bit of a spot there. I think these guys are taking the scenic route through the enemy lines. So let's unload them all. And we'll have them run up to the right side. A couple of them can just stay here to defend. Time for the rifles to move forwards. We killed the pack 40 in the center. 2,500 points we're playing for. Apparently this guy can't hold it on the left. Well, it's just a matter of bringing in some anti-tank, I believe. So we'll bring that up. I think he's being hit by Panzerwerfer. It's pretty hard. Sure, we get this uh, command Stuart out of the way. Ready, sir. Nice, we spotted their artillery, so we can use that to our advantage. Beware of Germans. Waiting for orders. Copy, sir. Let's hit where these pioneers are going. Because I don't want them to destroy my rifles too easily. We might be able to fast move. Bring in some rifles here. We'll get the Tripolston to take cover. Stuart can stay on this side. We'll bring him round this way. And that is a bunch of dead pioneers. Great. Let's take out that pack 40. Make sure that honey gets involved on that left side. We can unload this infantry. Push them up here. Currently only 50-50 now. Oh wow, 17 pound of bounce. Let's bring in another one. Yeah, I'll bring in another one straight after as well. Wow, come on. That's just obnoxious. Ready, sir. 
he keeps missing. Just ridiculous. Alright, let's move forwards this infantry. They're bombing the hell out of my command, Stuart. Let's move forwards the Tripolstons as well. They got two priests now as well, so we may as well use those. Great. Took out one of them. And that's going to kill off my 17 pounder, so we just have to get this one out of the way. Looks like we're just going to have to fold it back for now. Hopefully, it doesn't kill it. I really just want to get some infantry into these buildings because if I get next to their artillery, I can probably capture their munitions trucks, which would be nice. Just unload here. Nice. So that's the Verflammen. Right, we need to take out that Panther. Tell you what's good about this though, is that we're forcing the 12th SS player to help on this flank. That's really good. So now he's committing forces over here, which is exactly what we want to see. And is he targeting this 17 pounder? I think he is. Alright. We need to bring in another anti-tank for our right side because we lost ours. I'm going to bring up my Churchill. We made a lot of ground here, but it's just not going to be enough, I don't think. I need to just fall back with my units because I'm kind of looking after this guy on the left side. Does he not have any AT guns left? I mean, seriously. Like, I had so many units left over, but he seems to have lost them all. Maybe it's because he was pushed up so far for so long. I have to bring in some recon, though, and just cover the rest of the map for the rest of the game. It's just Now it's just a matter of, like, holding on until the end of the game. Because, like I was saying at the beginning of the game, my player on the left didn't do particularly well. We've used up all of our ammunition into our 25-pounders. We've got priests. We'll bring them over to the center. Maybe they can help us out. And we're just going to have to pile more infantry in here just to hold the front line. So we've still got a minor victory in 14 minutes at a plus one, so that's good to see. Patrol Polston should do the job. I'm hoping that I can maybe get line of sight onto this Verbalwind and take that out. That would be nice. Only trouble is, as soon as I reveal it, I feel like it's going to get targeted by Panzerwerfer. Great. Alright, let's uh, fall back from that. We'll unload our recon early. Make sure it gets into position. We'll have the MMG carriers come behind this tree line because I believe that's where the most infantry is going to be. He doesn't have any supply, so these guys are frontline troops from now on. Let's move them up, use them as direct fire support. Need to move back that chap. Getting my Churchill into position. Oh, that's not good. He's in line of sight of the Panther. Okay. We're okay in the centre. We need to take care of this Flak 88. If I can do that, we might be okay. Maybe I'll bring in my off map on this left side. Just to take care of any artillery pushing us. I might also have to bring in my 
AA as well. These guys need to fall back. And all of these recce need to hold fire. We honestly might be able to get a shot onto this Yag Panzer, that would be nice. Okay, he missed. Three stars, and he missed. Good stuff. Didn't miss the second shot though. Right, now we can probably roll him to the right side. We've just got to keep dodging the artillery. We can bring in our Spitfires as well now. We've got plenty of AA. Okay, good stuff. Come back away from their AA. And we've managed to get the bomber, so that's a start. Looks like they did kill off the AT gun I had there. I've got two more. I kind of want to save one just in case. We've got to deal with these Flak 88s and stuff somehow. Alright, let's uh, get these priests over to the right side then, because we dealt with the Flak 88 over on the left. Take out the ones on the right, and we should be in a decent position. I guess this is the only trouble with, like, the Eichenlaub. They do have a lot of troops. Alright, let's get this uh, command squad up. We're using 25 pounders as AT guns, by the way. <laughs> I might be able to move this down and catch out the Panther G without it being fired upon by all of these units, which would be really good. Still going to win. In a certain amount of time. <laughs> we have our off map in position. Where do we want to put it? Okay, we took out the panther. Nice. Let's move it over to the right side now. Take out this pack 43. That's doing us some damage. We do have Spitfire bombers as well. So this is where our air force will come in handy. If we have enough of them, we can hit, the, hit them with the Black 88s. Oh, our... 25 pounders, so it could have been resupplied by these Bedford supplies. We'll bring in a dingo to assist the priests. We're going to need more infantry over here, so we'll bring that in. Just going to keep firing arty at that left side. One more direct hit. Should do the job. Gun ready, sir. And then we can start targeting the 88s. Be alert, soldiers. So let's creep through here. Get this Panther G kill before we get pinned. He's targeting the 17-pounder with all of his uh, guys at the moment. This is where we can win the air war, which is nice. Good. Okay, we can get those guys out of there. That 17-pounder didn't quite hit the mark. He took out an infantry squad. I hope to add line of sight onto the Panther G, but apparently not. We're going to move forwards. These units. We've got the 2-inch carriers here to defend, which is nice. We need to just make sure that 17-pounder doesn't die on the right side here. Otherwise, we're going to be a bit of a predicament. Oh, he's hitting the uh, supply vehicles. 
That's not nice at all. Well, I think he might have accidentally hit a supply vehicle there. That would have been quite impressive, honestly. Don't you dare take out my 17-pounder. I will not be happy. How is my 2-inch carrier here not firing at it? I don't understand that. Oh well. Nothing we can do. Gotta hold on. Keep it at the plus one. Seven minutes remaining. Bring in another Spitfire. <laughs> Bring in this one as well. Great. So we're taking care of a lot of the enemy units. We can probably type in AT this Panzer Werfer, which would be nice. How are the priests doing? Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Need to reverse away from that engagement. There's just so much artillery that we have to deal with here. Did I take out the Panzerwerfer? I think I did. Yeah, it's dead. Nice. That means we can also take out the Vesper. Nice. And we got the Spitfire to take out these pinned down AT-8s. Never mind, they're not pinned down anymore. <laughs> Type in AT took out the Vesper, which is nice. They're great for taking out light vehicles. Not sure if I can... Yeah, okay, nice. We're going to be able to save my Churchill for now. Not sure what happened to my two units of infantry that I set up onto the right flank. But Tripolston's doing its job against the infantry here. We took out the Tiger on the left, which is nice. Not quite pushing back, but we're holding on. Second platoon ready, sir. I just think it was pretty spectacular. Oh well, up, the player on my left is doing, and now he's not doing so well. <laughs> we're bringing our last AT gun on the right side because I need it to take care of this Panther G, and we've already got one on the left side for now. Going to make sure that we can kill off this panther. Please don't miss. Well, he did miss. But we killed him. Good stuff. Alright. Now we took out the pack 43 there. Let's take out the flak 88. Just going to make every inch a slog for these guys. We can also bring in a crocodile for the mid, actually. That might be a nice idea. Because we've nearly got our other, I was going to say our other planes reloaded, but that's just the Spitfires. I guess we could still use them. Yeah, we can shoot down this JU-88. That's a good idea. And let's try and take down this Black 88. There is a Verbalvind doing quite a lot of damage to one of my planes there, unfortunately. Maybe we can get onto the back of it. I feel like this Verbalvind might shoot down my Spitfire. Maybe not spit it, shoot it down, but definitely did a decent amount of damage. We're kind of breaking through here. It's alright. We do have our Bedford, and I do have the Crocodile coming up. I think we're just going to commit this 17-pounder to the right flank. Are we in range yet? We are. Let's let the Cromwell do, or Crocodile do its work. Nice. We'll continue to fast move up the road because the Crocodile's really slow otherwise. And we don't want our priests to be hit, so we're going to have to move this guy away. Take out that B2. 
We'll get the assault pioneers to come take out the fusiliers while we're at it. Nice. I'm going to bring in my Spitfires to take care of this Pack 43. Let's get him out of there. The bomber should be able to do the job. Nice. From Crocodile, come on. One shot. Nice. Okay, so we still have this Churchill here. We have 17 pounder. These guys need to fall back. Okay, never mind, they're dead. <laughs> Enemy off maps coming in now, I think. What I'm going to do is we're investing now a Spitfire bomber here. Is it worth doing that? No, mm, I don't know. If I can pin down this Black 88, then I can bomb it with the Spitfire as well. Oh wow, they managed to fire at my Spitfire from that far away. Pretty impressive. Now let's bomb it. We bailed out their Panther G as well. well. The amount of Panthers we've taken out in this game is pretty insane. They're just constantly pushing on us now though. I mean, We might be able to turn it around if I can get this... Uh, 17 pounder here into a decent position. We just got to preserve these 17 pounders now, though. Bring out that Churchill to play. Might be able to Typhoon AT that Verflammen, which would be nice. Might even be able to Typhoon AT that Verbalbind. It looks like uh, he's coming in with the shots as well. Right, my Typhoon AT miss. How did we do on the Bear Shaman? Okay, we messed that one up as well. <laughs> That's rather silly. Check out the Pioneer Fuller. And that is indeed GG, as we have 30 seconds remaining. And we're actually, I think, starting to push them back. We've taken out so many of their heavy tanks. I think we're going to have such a crazy amount of kills. Be pretty damn mental. Wow, that was a good one for you guys. Fifty minutes that took. Two thousand five hundred points was not reached, but we won. And look at that: six thousand four hundred and twenty-two kills. I thought the player on my left was doing a good job at the start of the game. He was definitely doing a better job than me at the start. But I got the momentum rolling as the 15th Scots usually do. And he somehow managed to lose ground when he was gaining access to 17 pounders. I mean, if Captain or Terry Bomb was using the Panzerwerfers effectively and the Vespers to take out the 17 pounders, then fair enough. But uh, there are other things you can do in order to deny uh, the. 17 pounder kills like you can just keep them hidden until you see a panther right like don't move them into position until you have to just keep them like slightly behind the tree line so they don't get spotted by recon and that way you can avoid them getting killed before panthers come in but uh, there you have it look at that churchill five kill list wonderful stuff ig18s pack 37s this is exactly what i was talking about when it comes to dealing with the 716th the churchill fives and the 25 pounders work so well against the 716th player the only reason i had trouble on the right side later on was because panthers came in and i wasn't really expecting it well i mean i probably should have been this 17 pounder did a good job of taking out both the ag panthers and the verbal vin that was pushing up initially uh, Spitfire there took down three aircraft as well. This 17-pounder taking out multiple Panthers and the Priest taking out uh, some Flak 88s, Pack 43, Crocodile there, finishing off those 
units in the center. I think a good job all round. A lot of the points came from these fire support weapons. Fantastic stuff. What a good game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.